It's a me again. So, this is another bug out bag that I've got. But, oh, oh, look, photo bomb of what <laughs> I got from the Walmart. Anyhow, you always got to have some type of repellent for bugs. Okay. So, this bag right here with the little dots and stuff and this comes off see how this comes off and you got a big and then you got this little carry bag see in this cute I got this on clearance about I don't know probably about six years ago um I think it probably was at Walmart or one of them stores that I used to uh shop at but anyway I think I paid like two dollars and fifty cents for for this bag I thought what a wonderful bug out bag um now yeah it's it's kind of glittery and all that kind of stuff but it it reeks uh gray man <laughs> if you just think about it or you know, like I said, the more people that you have, and especially if you got kids, and Lord, Lord help us, that we don't, you don't have any children, uh, in a W R O L, uh, without rule of laws, what that stands for, when shit hits the fan, S H T F, because it's going to be very hard on them if they're not tough kids, and I mean, tough kids. Uh, not as in, um, uh, physically tough, but emotionally tough. So God, God help y'all if, if that situation occurs. But anyhow, on a lighter note, so it's got this extra little carry pouch thing right here. You can go on a belt loop or whatever. Um, you know, so let's see what, now I haven't been in this bag for a while. It's been, it's been packed up. Look, either mosquitoes, but I got me some mosquito spray. Uh, let's see. Here. I'm going to set this down. I got another one of those sponges in there for a net. Here's some more fishing stuff. Nets. Nets. All this is nets. Fishing nets. Okay. Let's see what else we got inside this little pouch. Okay. I've got some some string probably oh this is was off of uh this was a denim belt that i had that um went to some pants and i wore those britches out but i didn't need a belt or anything but um anyhow i put this in here you can use this for all kinds of stuff uh use it for a tourniquet not one of those real, real super expensive gotta have it tourniquets because you're gonna die if you don't spend $500 on it. Uh, just an old fashioned kind, you know, because something like that, yes, yeah, it's, it's nice to have that stuff. It, it certainly is, it certainly is 100%. Uh, but a lot of times you don't have it, and so this will work. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, some deodorant is in this bag. Uh oh. Oh, looky here. My Canadian friends. Ta da. Oh, looky there. It's a little bitty, little bitty baby compass. And let's see here. If we're working, yes, 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 it is. And I love it. A Canadian friend gave it to me. And sanitizer, but all the sticky's gone out of it. This is all oil now. This will start a fire, you know. Spray a little bit on some kindling. Some more 
A&D ointment. Oh, looky here. A hair tie. And some safety pins. See, these little things, You, I mean, this is, like I said, this is overflow stuff. This is something that I might remember to grab. I might not. But I can tell you this much. Uh, if somebody comes along and needs it, it'll be there. Uh, if I don't take it with me, I, I, I probably would never carry this uh, bag unless it was the only bag that I had left to carry. Uh, but that's okay. That's all right. All right. So we got we got baby mini gun. Uh, let's see here. Moisturizing lotion. That's just in there. Water, mineral oil. Give you an idea of what what that's about. Let's lift this up a little bit now. There we go. The uh, kids next door are playing, and uh, they're homeschooled. Their parents are preppers. Uh, they got a beautiful garden in their backyard. I, uh, there's some of the people that I share the stuff from the food bank with when I go. Cause, you know, the food bank will give me a lot of stuff that there's just no way that I have access to can it uh, or anything like that because. I am living at my son's house, and he's really not into any of that kind of stuff. And so, anyway, it's a complicated situation. It's pretty much a roof over my head is what this is. Um, my son does help me with some things, like my tobacco, so I don't go crazy. The ibuprofen, let's see what the expiration date is. On this well it shows that it expired in 2019 but you know what I don't give a shit uh, this is a disclosure you know if you don't feel comfortable taking uh, anything don't take it but uh, I don't take ibuprofen no way because of my my kidneys and and uh, and my liver and stuff um, so we got some ibuprofen let's see what oh Maybe I was wrong. Look at what I got. Maps. Oklahoma. See where we're at right here. This looks like Arkansas. No, Colorado, baby. Oklahoma. I might have to put those in my other bag. Here's another Colorado. Uh, you know that you can call each state's, uh, you look online and, uh, for free state maps and the state, uh, travel agencies like Travel Oklahoma or Texas or whatever, they will send you paper maps for free I don't ever pay for maps I well I lie about that I, I pay for my um, um I pay for my atlas okay I got some cheap little mask these masks ain't worth a crap these masks were not gotten for um you know the hoo ha over the last couple of years, these masks was gotten for face covers uh, in case uh, Yosemite blows have something temporary, it, you know. But anyhow, that's what these are for. I didn't wear no mask, no way. So 
Saka. Excuse me. Yes, I said it. You know what these are for, don't you? This, yeah, this is a medical bag. I gotta go. I'm going. I'm glad we're going through this together because um, I didn't realize that some of this stuff was in here. I thought it was just a hoo ha bag, but uh, it's not a hoo ha bag. As far as a medical overflow, I forgot that my eye stats were in here. Okay. Wood dressing. I love this stuff, man. That works wonders. Let's see. Oh. More wound dressing. More wound dressing. You want to keep those? Ah, here we go. Here's some more. So I've got... One, two, three, four, five. Should have seven. Here's a Theraflu. Uh, this looks like it might be fire starter. Might not be. Band-Aids. What's this? Oh. Hand soap. I'm taking that out of there. That's going inside. I love that J.R. Watkins lavender. Mmm. This stuff is really nice. It's got pretty expensive. But because I have issues with uh, psoriasis on my hands. <laughs> zip ties, baby. You can do a whole lot with a zip tie. Yes, you can. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's see what's... Uh, I'm going to go through this bag. I'm glad that we're doing this together. Uh, it's going to be a long video. Oh, Band-Aid. Let's see. Yeah, there's some in there. Not much. It's dirty, though it's been around for a while. Dokalax suppositories. You never can tell about some of this stuff. No rhyme or reason. It's just when I get stuff, I start putting it in bags. Oh, look. More wound dressing. I love that fake skin. Here's another. Lots of wound dressing. Like I said, this is a medical bag. Surprised my maps were in there. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. We got some of this. Some more band aid. Some more bandages. Um. These blankets work. They work. They are excellent. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I had to use some of these when I was down there in Arkansas. Oh, man, it was cold. It was raining, snowing, raining, snowing, raining, snowing. But uh, use this to reflect uh, the heat off of the fire on the back side back towards the opening of my tent and I slept with my tent open and uh, it stayed very warm so warm I didn't need a blanket at that time let's see what else is in here so you gotta be careful oh got a little bit of these okay so this might sound gross and stuff or whatever to some people but uh when i was able to I, I i dumpster dived and there was a lot of places that i went to that had medical services where i dumpster dived and uh some you know i'd come across all kinds of stuff but you know usually nothing too serious but 
these little things, I would find these by the box full. Because they don't use the last of the rolls. But I would find these by the box full. And uh, I take them. That stuff stays good for a while. Mmm. Let's see what we got. We got some fruit and grade bars in here. Oh, looky here. Remember what I told you about your spoons. You always want to keep spoons with you, okay? It's easier to eat with a spoon than it is a, a knife or a broken fork. Uh, my little beanie hat. I love this hat, boy. You talk about keep your head warm. I love it. Okay, so this has some winter stuff in there. Hey, looky here. A pair of brand new shoes. I think I'll wear them. Those will go inside. Woo ha! That's something else. You gotta, you gotta keep your feet taken care of. Um, usually, whenever uh, I'm out in the bush. Uh, I got good shoes. I usually wear my boots. More good log baggies. Oh, look at this. This has a little bit of, of everything in it. Nail polish. Clear nail polish. That's good for mosquito bites. Some Carmex. Cotton swabs. Uh, some more tape. You know, chapstick, triple antibiotic, a pair of clippers is in here. Oh, look at there, tried and true. Some matches. <laughs> Stomach relief. You know, little stuff like that. Uh, some powder. I don't like this. This is, they probably, they pulled this off the shelves, I think. Because it's actual powder instead of cornstarch. Cornstarch is what you want. But I can't remember why I put this in here. Probably as a deterrent or something. You know, you can throw a scent if, you, if you're good at it. Oh, looky here. Here we go. Uh. Oh. My old pair of binoculars. <laughs> Can you see me? Let's see if they work still. Oh, man. These babies are old. And dirty. Man. Yep, they still work. Um, I've got a new pair. I wouldn't wear this unless I was hunting could cover it up but I use it as a wrap for these binoculars actually and stuff so see I just cover the binoculars up anyway nothing special mosquitoes are trying to eat me up out here but they can't because I've got mosquito spray on moisturizing cream See what else is in here? String, you use that for all kinds of stuff. Oh, looky here, some more gum. <laughs> Alrighty, hey. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? We got some more of those. Well, since the mosquitoes. Oh boy, we got a mess. Floor tab's busted open. Wonder how in the world that happened. Ain't no telling. They're all in the bottom of this bag. Ah! These things right here, you can't hardly find them anymore. But these babies work. And uh, let's open them up. Let's see what's up. Yeah. I think we're going to use those. Because... Uh, of what happened earlier today. Oh, there's two packages of them. Wonderful. I'm going to show y'all how to 
how to do this. This mosquito coil. If you can find these, get them. Uh, but uh, you, you usually could get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And, I mean, they just had them everywhere. Okay, so you got these coils, right? Then it comes with these little... This little prong, this little prong right here is a great tool to keep because uh, you never can tell. But anyhow, you just kind of twist it apart there and you got two now. Oh boy, these mosquitoes are going to have a shit fit. Anyway, they're going to be going somewhere else. That's for sure. And then you got that. You see how that comes up? You see that little hole right there? It goes right in there just like that. And then you got your little mosquito coil. Now this stuff is strong. You do not want to be right up underneath this. Oh, I'm sorry. You let it burn. It's just like incense. You got to... You know, you got to catch it. Looks like we got a little bit going there, doesn't it? Let's help it a little long a little bit more. One corner seems to be going. Now, when these get wet, they ain't no good. I can hear the mosquitoes by my ears. That's about the only thing that's not. Not covered. I'm trying to get this to catch. There it goes. Okay, I'm going to set this down. Let's see what happens. there so I got it burning down there on the ground now oh mosquitoes trying to get in the bag boy they're just everywhere let's run them babies off okay I got a toothbrush brushing your teeth is important yeah these mosquitoes boy, they, they're ruthless no wonder this bag is so heavy What's this? Nothing. Ain't nothing in here. I guess I kept it because it is a pretty cool little pouch. Got a little zipper right there. Got a little, it's got a little handle. There ain't nothing in it. It's got all these little things. I kept it for probably to, to put preps in. We shall see what I can do with that. Oh man, I've had this for for ages. I got this one I uh before I sobered up. Let's see what's in here. Let's see, got a Sharpie marker. Cause I need to write a note. Some alcohol pads. It's a fire starter. Eye drops, dysporin, antacids, uh, another marker, oh beautiful little brooch, uh, no telling what that was for, mm, looks like old phone numbers and stuff, uh, oh clippers, see there's clippers in here and <laughs> this little knife. I'm really curious about those numbers. I see. There's a phone number there. Uh, yep, yeah, I tell you what. Old numbers. Old information. Huh? Let's see what this is. The receipt, fire starter. <laughs> 
anyhow much of nothing um but it could be used for something up oh, got that poking through yeah that's old that's way old look at it it's coming apart and everything but it's got some stuff in there got some wire some trip wire which oh excuse me trip somebody up if they're not watching where they're going especially in dark another zip tie i had a bunch of other zip ties probably they're in my other bag oh no wait zip ties i got mad at one of my ex-husbands he was drunk off his butt and uh, when he woke up he was zip tied he didn't get drunk and pass out around me no more i guarantee you that uh I'm telling you, it is what it is. Okay, well, I'm going to go through all this stuff here, and then um, I'll um, put this bag back together. Some of this stuff is probably outdated, outdated, like this stuff in this little bag right here. And I'll probably go through this, maybe put some of the... The other things in here this takes up extra you know space in the bag and everything but uh the mosquito uh coil seems to be working mm. took me a really good nap today after the fiasco at walmart but uh anyway thank y'all for for watching and stuff everything in this bag and that other bag that i did part one um you can make up a bag out of both of those or have two separate bags really um but like i said i get stuff i start putting it in backpacks i just start putting it in backpacks i've, I've done it for years a backpack is easier to grab people call them get home bags bug out bags just put them in a backpack a little bit of everything uh not too much of one thing because i mean you never can tell the situation like i said you know i prep for uh that rule of law in SHTF natural disasters and things like that if you've got all this stuff done um you should be you should be okay on them ISAT pills all they do is help your um forget the name of it all they do is help uh, your thyroid from soaking in those that radiation and killing you and if it comes down to this and you're popping this stuff right here it yeah you're gonna have an opportunity to live a little bit longer than some people possibly but you know if they drop a bomb um we're all screwed and you know and if a, a nuclear attack a nuclear bomb was to go off uh i would hope and pray that i was at ground zero uh, because if you're within a hundred miles of that baby, you, and you're not able to get up and go, you're screwed anyway. Uh, so, um, you know, can't afford one of those huge expensive bunkers. Although, I tell you what, hindsight is twenty twenty. That's the weirdest thing. If I would have known now. And would have had the guidance at a very young age. I'd say like 13, since because I've been on my own since I was 13. Uh, I would have just started investing in a freaking doomsday bunker. I mean, I would have had an underground compound that surpass anything you could possibly think of i would have been working on it my entire life that was uh, a dire mistake of my own but when you're young and you're just trying to survive you don't you know you don't think about all that stuff it's a day-to-day -day shit hitting the fan day to fucking day shit hitting the fan uh and thus being a young female at 13 out on the streets and figuring out how you're going to survive um, 
and stuff. And I ate out of a lot of trash cans. Go eat out of a trash can. Find your, your favorite restaurant and go get you some food. You'll see where I'm coming from. Uh, I don't like donuts. I used to go to the uh, donut place because they'd bring all them donuts out and they couldn't give them to me. You know, they, they're throwing them away, but uh, they just couldn't come out the door and give them to me. So they'd come out the door and put them in the trash can in a nice box. And that's how they'd give them to me after they seen that I had been eating out the trash can for about six weeks. Can't stand donuts. Um, I'll eat them, but, you know, it is what it is. And yes, I'm, I'm smoking a cigarette. Why? Went to my tobacco shop, and all of the, the tobacco uh, shops in Lubbock did not have my cigars. They did not get them in on shipment. So I went to my second, which is what I used to smoke, and it was real, real inexpensive, and it's made by the, the Indians, or the Native Americans, excuse me, gotta be politically correct. Uh, uh... And all they had was five packs out of all the stores. And so, my son got me those. Yeah, I know people are going to say, oh, you're on food stamps. Oh, you this. Oh, you that. Oh, you this. Oh, you that. You know what? Yes, I fucking am. I sure am. Excuse me on the vulgarities. But, uh, I mean, come on. I'm real. You're going to see it. I ain't freaking perfect, but I look at it like this. I have been working since I was 13 years old, living on my own, you know. Uh, I have paid into this system my entire life. I have hurt myself. I am trying to do what I need to do. These right here are one of my vices. And my son buys them for me. Everything else, you know, I've got to get on my own or figure out how to get it. And uh, that's just how it is until I can start working or trading labor. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff I know how to do. I know how to do all kinds of stuff, okay? Don't let this beautiful face fool you that I am you know, yeah, I, I got skills, okay? I got skills. Um, but anyhow, this video is going a little bit long, got off track. Thank y'all so much uh, for listening and sharing. I appreciate that a whole lot. Um, pray for me. And uh, keep on prepping because, you know, you just never know. You go to sleep thinking you're going to wake up every morning. But that's not usually the case for many. But I'll have a part three. I've got to get my truck in the garage so I can start pulling stuff out. Um, I've got to do that, and that, I, I, that's my big bag is in my truck. A lot of my, my truck is a bug out truck, okay, Jolene, and she's got a lot of stuff in there, uh, and I need to go through there, and, because I've got, you know, some, uh, self-defense mechanisms in there, and I need to go through and see what exactly what's going on and, and, and all and get my other bag out and go through it. You know, it just don't go, just don't have it not sit in the corner like Minnie Mouse has done here cause, and just add stuff to it because you'll get to arrive everything. But, like I said, I do that anyway, okay? Um, and build you a bag, Based on your needs, what you can carry. These are just examples. You don't you don't have to do anything the way that I do it. I'm just sharing with you me and how I do it, how I save money, how I uh, am able to improvise stuff that uh, could possibly help me in the long run, okay? So y'all stay blessed, and I'll see you again. You know that. Ciao, baby. Keep on prepping.